how do guys and welcome back to Geeks of the Realm well it's been a long time since I did a video probably what a month now a month and a half since I've done a, a video the reason being I've been away okay um, I've been working away at, as a lot of people know um, I'm an outdoor instructor so over the summer um, it's kind of my busy period and I go away all over the place and do a lot of uh, of activities canoeing climbing and stuff like that so I just haven't had time to do some videos so what am I gonna do this time well because I've been away so long it's given asthma day or um, you know see on whoever it is who deals with the distribution it's given them time to actually pass out some units so today I thought I'm going to do a lot of unboxings, so there's going to be a lot more, more than one of these videos coming out, um, you know, next couple of next couple of days maybe. Um, so I'm going to start with unboxing the Tully Cavalry. Um, yeah, well, let's get into it. Eh? Let's have a look. All right, so here we go, the Tully Cavalry. As always, like I keep saying in every video of the unboxing, the artwork on these are pretty cool. Okay, I do like the fact that you have got the horses running through water again makes it obviously makes like the blackfish You know, I do like that um, On the back again, it tells you what you've got what content you've got and stuff. Okay, so Without further ado, let's get into these shall we? Let's have a look see Let's get rid of that so let's get the box open Let's have a look. So you get your movement trays always. Oh, there it goes. And let's pick it up off the floor. We've got the card, which will... Let's go and have a look at the card. So, House to Recovery. Nine points. Quite expensive. Okay. One away from the uh, flared men. but So hopefully they're going to be going to be half decent. There we go. So what have we got then? So the movement five. Okay, so they are obviously they're heavy armored, so they must have a yeah the three three up save, so they're not not too bad save. Five move. It's a little bit uh, a little bit slower. I, I would say. I mean they're not that heavily armored, not like the flared men. So there we go. Um, they have a six and a four. Okay, so six dice, and then four dice when they lose a rank. Uh, hitting on threes. Three up save and a five up morale. Five up morale is really good. I do like that. Um, three up save for the points. Maybe could have been a little bit better. I don't know. But let's have a look at the actual abilities. So again, cavalry. So each model has three wounds and it can do a uh, it can do a maneuver before it does anything. But the lance. So when charging, this attack has plus three dice and gains critical blow and sundering. Ah, when it's charging. So it's exactly the same as the uh, Knight of Castle Rock, basically. Okay. Um, but the Embolden. So while this is in short range of a unit, other friendly units gain plus one to the morale tests. Okay. So that's good. Why it's within short range. Um, is it worth nine points, though? Are they worth nine points? Maybe eight? That's... I don't know that plus one to the morale test is, is, is obviously it's good, um, you know it's better than the Knight of Castle Rock, but again these are, uh, I must admit I'm not a big fan of the Knights of uh, Castle Rock, just because you've got to have them on the charge, you've got to charge and as soon as they get charged and they don't retreat, I'm not really much of a retreating player, so it's you know it's, it's a bit of a bit of a stickler for me, but. I'm going to give them a go. You never know. You know, some of the cards, you know, the actual um, Brundon Tully on a horseback. He's um, He's got some, as a commander, he's got some nice cards. Um, ride by attack or something, or heavy attack. Basically, when you you can play this card, you do a, a march action, and whatever you've marched over, you can do a, a charge attack against that one. So, technically, you can get, like, a, a charge off. And, again, it's classed as charging, so... There we go. So anyway, let's have a look at the models. I'm still not a big fan of being nine points though, I will will say that. But let's have a look at these models. These models do look really nice. 
okay they do look really really nice I have been waiting for these to come out just for the yes for the sheer models themselves so there we go let's have a look so we have this geezer on horseback holding his spear his spear seems a bit flimsy but there we go it's got really good detail on it though very nice that is a nice model i mean he does look like he's leaning to the left a bit i don't know if you can see that leaning to the left but i mean i'm sure i can heat that up and move it to the side well, there's one there's the next one similar similar pose um except he's it's a little bit higher this time and he's actually got a, a fish looking head nice let's have a look at this one okay so he's got his mask up open we'll have we'll have a look at these on the turntable in a minute let's have a look at this oh okay this is very flimsy very very flimsy this would like that to have not been so flimsy but a very good looking model though would you agree yeah well stick on the turntable and we'll have a look all right guys i'll see you in a minute Well, there we have it, the uh, Tully Cavalry. Very good looking models, very good looking models. Um, but expensive, nine points, a nine point unit. Uh, I can't even tell you if they're gonna be good or not. Because basically the, the Critical Blow and Sundering is awesome. It really is, especially with the new, with well, not new, but especially with the game, how it's how it's going now. There's a lot of um, units that have pluses to the saves. Um, you know, I've got pretty good saves anyway, so that sundering is is fantastic. And six attacks, nine if it's charging with critical blow, so potentially with a, a lot more. But they have to be charging. That is the key thing. They have to have that charge. If they don't have the charge and they get surrounded or they get you know they get charged first then they're rolling six dice with nothing just six dice i'm not a bit for nine points it's not worth it i think they've been overly overly um pointed eight points i'd consider but again it's the same as a knight to castle rock if you know what you're doing against them you're going to try and charge them as soon as you can It'll stop them attacking because then they'll have to retreat or use a use a um, the manoeuvre uh, part on the board to retreat. So again, you're sort of forcing your opponent to do stuff. Um, I just I just think it's very expensive. I'd like to find out what you guys think, um, and if any of you's used any or use them to good effect on what you put them in. I can see, like I say, with Blund and Tully on horseback, I can see. The benefit of his cards will definitely benefit them. Um, but again, is he worth the taking as a commander? I don't know. I am going to be using him um, and I'm going to be using these just because I like to play with everything and just throw them in a in a, in a, a game as you guys know. You know. Okay, So you guys are going to be able to see this uh, video. I will be videoing that as well. Um, but like I say, let me know what your thoughts are. Still not 100% sure on them. I do love the models though. They are very well sculpted. Um, but like I said, nine points. I'll just keep reiterating that. Eh? So, well, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, I know it's been a while um, since I've done this video. Um, so again, it's kind of like coming back into it after after a little, uh, little rest. Um, but I want to get a lot more games going, a lot more unboxings. So again, we've got, we've got loads of unboxing. We've got the Free Folk Heroes want to unbox. The Builder's Crossbowman from the Night's Watch. We've got the Heroes. Um, no, is it the Heroes? No, we've got... Um, oh, the Bones, Follow of Bones to unbox as well. Um, oh, does, does that much come out since I've been away? Um, I've just got a lot of unboxings to do, so 
you'll be watching some of these guys. Okay. Well, thanks very much. I look forward to reading your uh, your messages below, and uh, take care from me. Bye for now.